<clears throat> it is very hot outside right now. You can actually see here I'm running my little air conditioner. Try to keep cool. Let's go ahead and take these windows down. Oof, that sun. Oh my fucking god, look at this. This is coming. Do I just need to take this whole fucking thing down? This motherfucking car, I swear to god. Okay, so we are headed to El Paso today. One of my friends is Mexican. He just crossed the border into El Paso so that he could meet with me. So we have one day to be able to make this work. The part of the desert that we need to drive through is basically completely barren. There's no gas stations, there is no nothing. We are now in Texas. So I actually didn't get breakfast today because I wanted to be sure that I could get to El Paso soon enough. Um, it's 10.30 right now, which means McDonald's is no longer selling breakfast. But you know where I haven't gone in a while? Fucking IHOP. I want a chocolate chip pancake. Let's go to IHOP when we get to El Paso. You have got to be kidding me. Listen to this. That is rod knock. Holy shit. Did my engine just fucking blow up again? I can hear it. There's no Riley Auto Parts right here, so I guess that's kind of convenient. I can't fix my engine. There's nothing I can buy here that will fix rod knock. Just so you guys can hear this. I don't know what I'm actually supposed to do at this point. I'm out in the middle of the desert. Do I just take my car to a scrapyard and I don't know what to do. I don't want to buy another car because I'm literally flying to Europe in a couple of days, like three weeks. That means, oh, I still need to make it to the airport. My dad still has my passport. I don't know what to do with this car. My dad has the deed in his house because I don't want to like lose it. So I can't even send this to a scrapyard because I don't have the deed to the car or the title to the car. Luckily, the problem isn't financial. I can afford to deal with this problem. It's just logistics. I don't know logistically what I'm supposed to do right now. I put so much fucking money and time into this car. Fuck. Oh, I guess since I'm vlogging this, I should probably go take a thumbnail, come up with a title of this video. It's gonna be like blown up or exp I fucking hate this job. Okay, there we go. Let's start figuring out what we're gonna do again. Um, my mom is about maybe three hours that way where we just came from. I was literally just, just saw her yesterday. So she can come pick me up. If I was out in the middle of God fuck nowhere, this would be a harder problem to solve. I am not gonna lie. There is like a 90% chance I'm just gonna abandon this car in this parking lot right here. Okay, but now that I'm thinking about it, I could try to fix this car. The reason that I couldn't fix my last engine is because it was winter and it was super cold. That's not really a problem here. I don't have a shop, so I would need to tow this back to like my mom's place. I don't know, is it worth it to try to rebuild the engine? I don't have that long. I've only got like four weeks before I need to fly out. This is my friend Esteban. Um, I've actually mentioned him on this YouTube channel a couple of times before. Uh, let me oh, close my windows. I don't want anything getting stolen. Okay, I don't want to damage your brother's car. This is a nice car. Yeah, I had my headphones in, I was jamming a little bit, and I noticed that it wasn't going as fast as I thought it did. I took the headphones out and it's just like... <laughs> IHOP is right over here. Now you guys will actually get to compare what real pancakes look like compared to what McDonald's pancakes look like. I know that a lot of people that follow me are from Europe and they don't really have pancakes in Europe. So you guys will get to see what like pancakes look like in general. Okay. IHOP, thank you so much. The chocolate chocolate chip pancakes. This is their Wi-Fi password. Remember that if you're ever in an IHOP. Oh, he gave me lemons. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, so for breakfast, we got a sausage stick and a bacon flop. I got some eggs and a piece of resistance. So apparently they're chocolate pancakes and they've got like chocolate. I don't know what makes a pancake a chocolate pancake. All in all, super great breakfast. So uh, my friend Esteban, he's Mexican. One of the slang terms, I'm not sure if slang, one of the slurs for Mexicans is beans. So he's been reading the comments to these videos, seeing all of you guys talking about how there's too many beans and there's too much beans. It was like a racist slur. 
Okay, for two meals, that's actually entirely reasonable. And now I need to figure out if I want to actually abandon my car or if I'm gonna try to tow it back to my mom's place. See, okay, so I could get a car like this. The problem is that there's not like a whole lot of room to sleep in the back. It's got beans, it's got beans. Okay, we're back, which means I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with this car now. Okay, the first thing we need to do is we need to find out if we want to tow this back to my mom's place or if we want to just abandon it. There is definitely value here in this car, but it would cost a lot to be able to try to replace this engine. If I do this, I would want to replace it myself. I would want to try to do an engine swap on my own in a driveway. So I guess the first thing is just finding out how much it would cost to tow it. I just got off the phone with the tow truck company and they say it will cost a thousand dollars to tow this back to thousand dollars okay well i guess that is that first place you want to scratch off the vin number is right here you've also got one right here that's much harder to get to but it's certainly not impossible if you have some tools okay now that i'm thinking about it i could just try to buy a new car while i'm here drive that car up put it right here transfer all my things over and then just keep driving okay back to removing the vin number we're going to use one of these elbow bracket allen wrench thingies so I tried to reach down here and actually get the uh, VIN number off of it like that, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull it out because of where the windshield is. So what we're gonna do instead, do you guys remember this stuff? It's gonna come in handy again. Gotta clean it up a little bit so it doesn't look like it was intentionally done to obscure the VIN number. Then we're gonna come back here and we're gonna take some sacrificial Dr. Pepper. See, the problem with this right now is that you could just like take a fan or a vacuum and blow all that away. So we need to do a little bit of magic to make sure that that doesn't happen. Now, when this evaporates, you will not be able to see the VIN number unless you literally take the windshield off. Nobody is gonna go through that much effort just to be able to find the VIN number of this car. Okay, now I need to figure out which parts of my car are gonna get transferred over and which parts of my car are going to get left here. We're going to keep the battery pack because this guy is cool. We're keeping the backpack. Oh, I definitely wanna keep a lot of my electrical equipment because this was expensive to build up. Okay, so I'm sticking all of the stuff that I need to keep inside my car right here and I'm gonna keep all the things I'm gonna leave in my trunk. Sorry, Peppa, I don't have food. I have rice but I don't think you want that. Oh, also to all of the people that are just like, oh, call a scrapyard, scrapyard will come take your car. I don't keep the title of my car in my car. Like why, why would I keep the title in my car? Nobody will take my car because I can't prove that I own it right now. You know, the reason I got this car, the specific reason that this car was important to me is because the engine is a 3800. That engine is supposed to be fucking bulletproof and I've blown two of them. Let's just do a quick search online to find cars in the area and what they're selling for. So the only things that are for sale that are like at least somewhat reasonable are boats and little moped thingies. So do you guys just want to see what's gonna make this day all the better? My mom is on the way to pick me up right now and she just got a flat tire about 100 miles away. Potentially two flat tires. Okay, so she has a flat tire. She can't get to me, she's stuck at a rest stop. I doubt she can change a flat on her own. I'm literally gonna blow up my engine today. There is absolutely no fucking way this car is going anywhere. Okay, she's gonna call her insurance, see if they can't get some like roadside assistance to come get her. I'm curious if my tires will fit on her car because I'm not gonna be using my tires anymore. If they will fit on her car, that's great. So mine are 225-60-R16. My mom is sending me pictures of her tires right now to see if we can actually just repair them. Jesus fucking Christ, what a day. Are you just gonna be stranded 50 miles away from me? Probably, I don't know. Okay, it looks like her insurance is gonna send somebody down to fix one of her tires, and she's gonna try to limp the other tire back to me. So, okay, now that we've got all of the stuff anonymized, let's go take all of the valuable parts out of this car so that when my mom gets here, we can move them over. First off, we're going to take my battery isolator. This is the thing that lets me have my ba uh, backup battery back there charged off of my front battery. This is like $120. And if I take it off this one, I don't need to buy another one for my next car. There we go. Now we just got to cut a couple of these zip ties right here, keeping the wire up. Cut, good. Okay, there's one part. Now where is the wire right here? Well, this means that next time I install this guy, I can give you guys a tutorial for how to set one up yourself. Okay, coming back here, I think I'm gonna take just this entire battery right here because it's got a lot of stuff stuck onto it. My fuse box, my uh, boost converter. I think we're just gonna take the entire battery rather than trying to piece off each of the individual electrical components. I'm really glad I made this whole thing modular because it makes it easy to just unplug everything without needing to deal with any like extra wiring stuff. 
There we go. See, the whole thing is completely modular. Oh, wait, there's one more thing we got to do before we leave. Do you see this box right here? This is your electronic control unit. This is basically the computer for your car. This has my VIN number in it too. So I'm going to uh, cut all of these wires to it. We are going to wait until the very last minute to do that just in case I need to like still use the electronics in my car. And I did scratch off all of these stickers that have the VIN number on it. There's only one more up here on the top of the hood. There we go. Now we should be able to abandon the car without ever having it traced back to me. We're also gonna come in here and take some of the electrical components out of this guy, because these are important to me. That would be these things right here, the console unit that I put in. I wanna keep some of these parts. Uh, specifically this one right here, it's USB type C and it can do up to 65 watts. So that's valuable. So I'm pretty sure that abandoning my vehicle like this is illegal but I think that the scrapyard will get more money out of scrapping it and selling it than it will actually be worth to come after me and try to like find me. So I don't think they will. I am, I swear to God, if I had my title on hand, it's at my dad's house in North Carolina, but if I had my title on hand, I could just sell this to a scrapyard. Like this would be no problem at all, but I left it with my dad and now nobody will take it. I've called so many scrapyards today, seeing if they will come and take the car completely for free, but they legally can't because I don't have that fucking piece of paper. Okay, here it is. This is the comprehensive list of everything I own. This is my sleeping bag and bedding and stuff. Some big things like my battery, my solar panel, all of my clothes, my electrical stuff, my car stuff, some extra car stuff. And I've got the jack in the back right there. Okay, so I think I might be able to give the car to this O'Reilly's auto worker. If he'll take it from me, all of the problems are gone. So yeah, I think this O'Reilly's auto worker is gonna take my car for me for it, trying to like get this over to a different parking lot. But yeah, he's gonna take it from me. That is so convenient. That means I am no longer committing a crime by leaving the car here. It's his problem now. He can do whatever the fuck he wants with it. No, so a sheriff in New Mexico, they actually saw my latest TikTok talking about scratching off my VIN number. And he said that it's a felony to scratch off your VIN number and that he's gonna be in contact with the El Paso to police department. He literally gave the exact location of where I'm currently at and told me to move it now. Fucking come at me, bro. My mom should be here soon so we can move all of my stuff over. I'm actually not sure where she is. The roadside assistance person helped her change her tires. She's here. She's here. I can do transfers. Yep, she's on her little spare tire. <sighs> Let's see how much room we have to work with. Oh, that's plenty. Oh, that's plenty of room. So I think we're gonna start with the bedding just because that's quick and easy. Get out of here. Okay, front seats are taken care of. Back seats are taken care of. Now we've got to go get the tent and the jack from the trunk. This is it, this is the only thing we've got left. Okay, I think that's, no, there's a couple more things. You also get an extra gallon of reserve gas. Okay, there we go. I think that is the last time we're gonna see this car. Okay, say goodbye to Beans, everybody. We're gonna go get him the keys and then it's gone. Here you go, she's all yours. All right, man, sounds good. You take care. Ah. Have a good day, yep. Okay, let's go. And I really wanna get over my- Two and a half hours later, we made it. We're gonna go get some of those motherfucking all sips burritos because they're fucking great. I don't think it's hit me yet how much I've like actually lost, but like just thinking about, oh, my car insurance, I just paid for that this morning. I don't need car insurance now. Motherfucker. We are celebrating with burritos. 6.43. Thank you so much. I am gonna send the guy that took my car a picture of my title just so that he can like take it to a scrapyard or whatever. Yeah, the title is fucking in North Carolina. It's not getting here in time. Okay, I'm getting a place to sleep tonight. Okay, we are in room 122. Now, let me be clear. My mom would have let me stay with her, my, my friends here. Like, I definitely could have had a place to sleep, but this gives me a chance to like actually figure out what I need to do. I'm not sure if I want to move my flight up and just like fly out, of, fly out to Europe like this weekend, if I want to stay here longer. My mom's car is having problems, so I am considering staying here and just fixing up her car or potentially breaking it because I'm really good at that, apparently. I'm gonna have my dad mail my passport to me. It's in North Carolina. I'm not sure if I want to head up to Iowa first. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be buying another car. So before any of you motherfuckers come into my comments asking me what I'm planning on doing, the answer is I don't fucking know. I do know that I care about one thing and I'm probably gonna be disappointed because it's just that kind of day. Hey, silver lining. Oh, and it's even extra deep. Look at this, it's got the two. Oh, I got an extra deep tub. Fuck yeah. Oh, see, no, another thing that I wanted to do now that I potentially will be staying with some friends with like stable Wi-Fi and internet connections and like electricity, there is a software project that I've been thinking about building to help me with my editing, to like write a script to where I just plug my GoPro into my laptop and the script runs, it pulls all my footage, edits it together and then renders it. I think that, that would be really fun to try to do. I'm not sure how you guys would feel about me doing more software content, just like talking about code, but I don't care, so.